Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up a PS3 controller to your Linux based machine so you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator. So let me show you the controller right now. So you should be seeing my PS3 controller. You know, it is a modified controller, but that's just purely aesthetic. Like, apart from that, it is a regular PS3 controller. This is a, as you can see, a DualShock 3 version. You know with six axis as well when the playstation first came out they only released the six axis version which didn't have dual shock in there so it didn't have vibration that works as well you know the process is exactly the same uh, if a little funny thing i remember you know tony got quite a lot of criticism at the time you know naturally so that it didn't have vibration and their their excuse was it interferes with the motion sensing and you know like a, a couple of years later or so i can't remember exactly yeah but not long after they released a you know dual shock version but yeah it was silly just removing you know that vibration technology because you know you want some sort of force feedback okay so you can either connect this wirelessly or with a wire but you to do it wirelessly you need the wire anyway so that is how you sync up controllers on the ps3 so you need a mini usb cable you can use the one that comes with it or a different one maybe from a older android phone potentially but you do need one of these but you can use it in wired or wireless and there's no software requires just plug and play which is fantastic so what you want to do is go to your bluetooth settings you know navigate there however you normally would and you connect this controller up like so and these leds will start flashing the other way there we go okay they're flashing or they flash and then we just click allow and we can press the playstation button that is now connected and synced it says disconnected so when you actually plug it in via wire you'll disconnect the bluetooth mode put it you know into wired mode and you know for charging as well so we can use it right now as it is there's no difference between functionality of using it like this or when i disconnect it and it says connected and it goes back to player one the you see the exact same so now let's configure it in pcsx2 let's move the cable out the way so pcsx2 the controller is not in focus there we go i'm going to go to config controllers plugin settings so from here, make sure you've got this one selected with, you know, the PlayStation 3 controller detected. That's the same if you got in wired or wireless mode. Also, another thing to bear in mind, make sure your, you know, make sure PCSX2 is closed when you sync it. Because if it's open, it doesn't always detect the new controller that's being plugged in. So just make sure that's closed or close it down and reopen it. So these, he hasn't automatically mapped it. These are literally just the default bindings and uh, let's clear these yours your you know screen here won't look like this where everything's sort of overlapping and not quite size right that just looks like this for me because i've got it in you know zoom mode which you know so you can see things bigger but you know you, you get the rough idea so now let's just start mapping everything so literally let's start with this so r2 and now let's do the next one R1 now so this is triangle circle X and square you know as they normally would but you could change the order around triangle circle X and square and now this is the analog stick and there we go my controller is a bit you know iffy it's so the controller and there we go Uh, I'm pretty sure I did it right. So let me decide to redo that. And L2, L1, don't click on it, L1, uh, up, down, left, and right. So up, I haven't done L3. Forgot about that. Did I do up? I feel like I did. Yeah, I did because it didn't appear there. New 
So up, down, right, and left. Okay, so you can start reversing, you know, the axis for the sticks. Feel free to, you can do a bunch of other things. You can hack, you know, plugged in USB, chain the pressure, you know, this is really cool stuff that you can do. Make sure you got this enabled so you have, you know, the force feedback, you know, the dual shock. You know, actually, maybe you don't want that. So, one second, I'm just reorienting my camera. Shoot my phone. Yeah, so back. Okay, let's get back in focus. So, yeah, so that's another good thing about the emulator. You may just want it without the vibration. So, click apply. Okay. And now you're all, you know, you're good to go. So let me show you a game working. So I've got Tekken 4 selected. I want to go to fast boot. Uh, that's not working. I feel like I forgot to map start and select. Yep, I forgot. So this is my bad. And there we go. Okay, so now let's play the game again. Let's just resume. So as you can see, it is working. I've turned the volume off, so if you're wondering why well, you're not hearing anything anymore, that's why. So let me just show you, you know, we gain into the game. So another great thing is some of the older games, you know, like this didn't actually support the analog stick for the game. You had to use the arrows. And what you could do is, if you really want to use the analog stick, map this. But there, there's you know, there's some extra controller setup that you can change as well. But you can map this for this. And you could even map this for the face button if you wanted. That is, you know, the real beauty of using emulation is that you can do stuff like that. You can apply anti aliasing and you can apply all that sort of stuff. Okay, I do like this kick. Okay, I'm gonna get a perfect. Okay, I want to stay away because he's going to try and kick. Ah, I'll get perfect on the next one. Ooh, there we go. Let me get it perfect. That was a cheeky little kick, that was. But there you go. As you can see, we've got the PS3 controller connected wirelessly, but again, you can plug a wire in and you just map the controls normally in PCSX2 and you could, you know, use it. So let me just click escape. So it's been paused and yeah, that is it. That's how you connect the PS3 controller up to your Linux machine. So you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator for PlayStation 2 games. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.